Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Go Big Red FTW podcast. It is your host, Steven, and I'm really excited for this video. We are going to be talking through six of the newest additions to the class of uh, Nebraska football. I will say before I'm recording, we have one more that we may potentially talk about as they are announcing at the Under Armour All-American game. So without further ado, strap in, see if this relates to some of the Husker signees that you have in mind. Um, I have some pretty good notes on each of them and what impact I think that they can make. Um, as well as just other information that I find important. So with that, here we go. The first person I have is Maverick Noonan. He's a legacy. His dad was drafted as a Husker 12th overall back in 1987. An absolute stud. Looks like he can put the pads back on and still be elite, which is insane. Um, he comes from a good family. Uh, his mom actually played Matt Rule in a game of table tennis or ping pong, whichever you prefer. Um, so, you know, there's some com competitive nature uh, within, you know, all those that are in that family. As I was watching this film, some things that kind of stood out to me is he has a quick first step. That he is violent with his hands and he's a finesse rusher off the off the edge um he will hold the edge as well which i find very critical in an edge piece he does um watching this film things don't get outside of him and if they do he chases them down and brings the ball uh carrier down he's good against the run and the pass so he's not just a pass rusher um making him you know an every down defensive end um you also notice that he finishes each play now with his size and um you know just characteristics of him i think he does have time to grow into his frame um and that's going to help him out tremendously but i do see him as a really good uh piece for us moving forward next we have Tristan Alvano, um, a very good, solid kicker from Omaha West Side. Um, he most recently attended the Coles camp and he was ranked number one in place kickers um, of all the kickers that attended that camp, which is a huge honor, ranked as a five-star kicker, not to a lot of the recruiting sites, but Coles, and they have their own system that they do. Um, and yeah, he, He's legit, he's legit. He just accomplished the most amount of field goals in the state's history, um, career field goals. He had 119 of 120 on extra points, which I believe is vital. Um, if you remember in years past, we missing extra points and that's something that you just should not do. But along with that, he is also clutch um, on the biggest stage of them all. He had five field goals in his high school's state title game, including the game winner. And that just screams clutch to me and something that we've been missing. And what better than doing it at Memorial Stadium? So he's gonna be solid and should be able to compete. Um, his accuracy is just something else. Next, we have Jason M. I will learn his name. He is 6'4", 320 out of South Dakota. Um, he camped at UNL years prior. Um, he is a huge kid with a lot of athleticism for that size, which I could definitely appreciate because, you know, sometimes when you get to that size, you can't move as well. And he's someone that does at, I'd say an elite level, at the high school level. So if he can maintain some of that and still build on his strength, I think he's gonna be an absolute beast for years to come. You can expect him on the old line um, based as a guard. Um, he can be flexible in positions. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe next year after another transfer we had um, in Ben Scott after he graduates, I wouldn't be surprised if he switches to center because the way he is able to be a pulling guard, I think he's gonna dominate, um, especially in the running game. 
um, passing, I think he'll have time to grow. Um, but pulling, I think, yeah, he is, he's going to be elite. Love his size and that athleticism that I talked about. He's going to be good. Next, Malachi Coleman number one player in um, the state of Nebraska and we were able to hold on to him um, this upcoming weekend he'll or he'll be competing in two all-star games in the All-American Bowl and the Polynesian Bowl um, so really excited to kind of see him compete um, he's a competitive player and wants to showcase his talent and I look forward to seeing how he performs in both of those games and going against the best of the best so I'll be on the lookout see if I see any news on him uh, 6 5 205 exceptional speed and he has a frame that he can add some really good mass um, in the 100 meter we have him clocked at a 10 4 6 um, which is blazing speed, uh, I'm sure all of you know. Um, and then he just posted a video with a lasered 40 yard dash at 4.38, which is faster than what he just recently clocked. So he's still improving and he's gonna continue to get better and better. After watching some of his tape, um, I see that he is going to uh, be exceptional when it comes to jump balls his vertical and his size and his long arms are a rare combination um yeah with his vertical he gets up there and i would put my money on him uh for a lot of jump balls and one-on-one -on -one contested catches um would love to see um some more plays and see how he attacks the ball with his hands and how strong those are but Ooh, it is impressive to watch um, He has great focus when the ball is in the air wide receiver blocking. He'll go out. He'll do it um, you know, he'll get nasty with it and uh, Yeah, I love the fact that he wants to compete um, I think that in itself will make the team more competitive and he will grow that room Next, we have RVP, 6'4", 270. He has a similar body type to Ty Robinson um, when he was coming out of high school. Um, so I can see him at defensive end with upside to get to the quarterback. If you've seen this past year or past years of Ty Robinson, um, I do like him. I think he's dominant. Um, I think he'll do well at the nose tackle position in the 335. But I see Rylan, or yeah, RVP, at um, edge or as one of the edges in this system. I think he's a leader uh, when it comes to firing up his team at the high school level. And I believe he'll have a role in years to come and I could see him redshirting this year, but I definitely keep an eye on him. And this is my favorite prospect of the class. We have Eric Field, 6'1", 195 out of Oklahoma, explosive speed at linebacker, and he is just an animal. He is violent, and he's what the black shirts entail, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him be an explosive player on the field, on special teams, right off the gate, because he just has that dog in him. Um, I know it hurt when we lost Ernest to the uh, to Michigan. Uh, he was one of our uh, freshman linebackers, but I will say this definitely made up for it. Um, he has time to build some uh, lean mass, and I think he's going to do it. His dad was a boxer. I believe his mother was an athlete as well. Um, and in the last two years, he had 118 tackles and 27 sacks, 10 of which came last year. So I am excited to see what he can do and to step into, um, to step into this room and make an impact. We have a couple of linebackers who I think will really kind of set the stage this upcoming year. Um, but look out for him. Uh, I don't know how much game time he'll get at linebacker, but could definitely see him stepping into a role on special teams. Next, Cameron Lenhart, 6'3", 250 pound defensive end out of IMG 
academy he is a tweener um, but I think what sets him apart at defensive end is his leverage he plays with um, he has a great rip move and swim move um, great technique and I think that he will do some fantastic things at the finesse rusher leveraging himself to be in great position and he finishes the play um, he is playing in the Under Armour All-American game today or Tuesday because I'm posting this tomorrow, but I see him as being a staple for our team. That is a list of players that stand out to me in this recruiting class. If anyone else stands out to you, feel free to leave it in the comments and share with me who I should be on the lookout, whose film I should reevaluate and see like, hey, they're going to be a dog. They're going to be a focal point of this team in years to come. I'd absolutely love that. Thank you all so much. Leave a like if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't for more great content when it comes to Husker football. With that, I appreciate you and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.